What is up guys? My name is Lex. We are back here in beautiful, sunny South Florida after spending a week or so in Texas. Here at the Hard Rock, we're going to be playing the $3,500 main event tournament today. Last year, this is the event that I got 81st place in for $10,000. Let's see if we can run good today. There's a stacked field, huge, tough competitors here, probably over a million dollars for first place. Let's go, let's register, let's run good, let's do it. Sitting down at this main event with 50,000 starting stack here. In this hand, I raise jack nine of diamonds to 1,000. The cutoff makes to call, big blind makes to call. We go three ways to queen, four, jack, two spades. Second pair for me, I continue for an $1,100 bet. Only the cutoff player makes to call. So now we're heads up to the turn, which is the ace of hearts. Given the fact that it's another over card to my pair, could bring in some straights and two pairs. I slow down and check and the cutoff player checks behind. River card is good for us when it comes out another jack. I continue now for a $6,500 bet with my trips. My opponent goes into the tank for a while. He is thinking over his options over a minute and a half of thinking, and eventually he calls. Jack Knight is good, and right off the bat, we win a decent sized pot here. Tournaments are always a fun challenge for me. I usually play deeper stacked cash games every single day, so tournaments are much different for me. We've now made it to level number four, 666 entrants so far. Seems a little bit creepy. Well, it's a packed house here at the Hard Rock. I have around a 50,000 chip stack for a while, but over the next hour, I call some raises. I raise myself. I put in some three bets and I really don't win any hands. And now my stack's at 23,000, which is good for about 46 big blinds, which is very good for a tournament. Well, in this hand, the hijack raises to 1,000. I have ace four suited in the cutoff and I three bet bluff here to 3,200. Back over to the hijack who makes the call. So we're heads up here with ace four spades and the flop comes down pretty great for that hand. Five, three deuce with two spades. We flop the second nut straight, the nut flush draw, and a straight flush draw as well. When my opponent checks over to me on this particular board, I feel like we just have it crushed so hard here that if I bet, he's probably going to be folding a majority of his hands. If I check, it could allow him to bet worse hands on the turn. Also could allow him to bluff on the turn as well. So I slow play this monster and check back, and the turn card pairs the board it's another deuce. My opponent now leads out for $2,500. I consider raising, but I decide to keep laying the trap here and make the call. The river card's the queen of diamonds, so we don't improve to a flush. We still have the second nut straight. The board is paired, but I don't expect him to have a full house here very often. My opponent now continues for a 6,000 chip bet here on the river. I feel like a lot of the time he's probably bluffing, Feel like he's going to be checking a lot of his pocket pairs when this queen comes out here on the river but with 17,000 left in my stack i only have one option here i decide to rip it all in he thinks it over for a while he tells me he's got a smaller pocket pair he says he puts me on ace queen and then folds i show him the four of spades just to kind of help my image here a little bit and i take this one down Poker tournaments in Florida are always great. The table's full of, let's say, action players. People here ready to gamble. We've now made it to level number five, 700 plus entrance. I've got 26,000 chips in my stack before a large hand comes up here. I'm under the gun with nine, 10 of diamonds. I min raise here to 1,200. I get an under the gun plus one call, under the gun plus two calls. The button calls, the big blind calls, and we go five ways to a four, six, eight, two heart, one spade board. I do have two over cards and a gut shot straight draw to the nuts, but so multi-way in this pot on a very connected low board, I am not going to be c-betting here. So when the big blind checks, I check, and actually all the players end up checking behind, and the turn card is a miracle seven giving us the nut, nut, straight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Any five makes a straight as well. 
big blind checks, I bet 6,000 other players full, but the button makes the call for 6,000 before the big blind, with a little less chips than me, decides to jam all in. What a dream spot. Multi-way, we have the nuts on such a wet and connected board. We bet we got a call and a jam all in. I go all in myself. The button folds, and we see that we're up against two pair. Six, seven offsuit, one of the best spots to be in, holding the nuts straight in a super large pot. My opponent has four outs to win. Let's see if we can hold. Uh oh. Oh, fuck me. Wow. God. Jeez. I hate tournaments. Seven on the river. My opponent hits a full house. We end up losing a massive one here. This was over a 40,000 chip pot that doesn't go our way. We are now left with crumbs in our stack. With around 15 big blinds in my stack, there's one call for 600, another call for 600, and I peel back pocket sevens here in the big blind. With less than 20 bigs facing two limps, I decide to jam all in here, and both of my opponents fold, so we end up taking down some big blinds here. Just a couple hands later, I have ace-queen offsuit on the button. There's a raise. I re-raise all in for around 20 bigs, and he folds, and we do pick up a little bit of chips here, going all in twice back to back. About an orbit goes by, the blinds are still at 300, 600. I'm still extremely short with 12 big blinds. There's a raise from plus one by a pretty aggressive player to 1500. There's two calls before I have pocket fives now on the button. With a pocket pair facing all this dead money for 12 big blinds, I decide to just close my eyes, ship it all in and hope for the best. Small blind folds, big blind folds, Back over now to the initial raiser who decides to ISO raise my all in. He makes it 17,000 chips. This is not good for me. This probably means he has a fairly big pocket pair, a hand like ace queen, ace king, ace jack. And to my surprise, the under the gun plus two player who just initially called the raise now calls this $17,000 isolation raise. This is not looking good for me. Going multi-way all in here with pocket fives, we're most likely not going to be winning this hand, and it gets even worse when the cutoff player decides to back five bet jam for 45 plus thousand chip stack. What is going on in this hand? Now the initial raiser has a decision to make. He raised from early position. He got two callers. I jammed all in. He ISO 4 bet to 17,000. Now he's facing a back 5 bet jam for 45,000 chips. He goes into the tank for a while and eventually folds, which is great news for me. That means his money is dead in the middle. And then the player in the red shirt under the gun plus 2 folds as well. So his money is dead in the middle as well, which means I could possibly get a quadruple up here with pocket 5s and I'm only heads up against a cutoff player who's got ace-queen offsuit. It's a flip for over 36,000 chips. This could be a massive quadruple up for me if I could hold. Thank you. Thank you. Quadruple up. Thank you. An all spade board, the turn is a five, giving me a set, sealing the deal, and just like that, we are back in the tournament, baby. A quadruple up here with pocket fives. We now have over a 30,000 chip stack. Coming off a glorious hold there with pocket fives, we get dealt in another pocket pair, sevens this time. I raise from under the gun to a min raise sizing. Only the big blind makes to call. We go heads up to ace, ace, seven, bink full house for us. Big blind checks over to me. Given the fact that we're heads up, we have this board completely crushed. I'm going to employ the same strategy I did when I flopped the straight with ace four of spades. I slow play and check back. Turn card 8 of clubs, now bringing in a flush draw, big blind checks again. I bet 1100 and he makes the call. River card 5 of diamonds, big blind checks for a third time. I bet small 1800 trying to get paid off, and I do. He makes the call, pocket 7s are good for a full house, and we rake in another decent pot. Thank you.
before we move on to the next hand, I want to share a little story or an odd situation that happened here at the table. So we're about 30 minutes away from dinner break. They give us a 90 minute break to get a dinner. There's a new player sitting to my left who seems like a nice friendly guy. He's got a nice outfit on. He's wearing some nice jewelry, talking to the table a little bit. We're about 20 minutes away and here at the Hard Rock before dinner break, they give us a $10 gift card or voucher that you can use at the restaurants here at the hotel. So $10 free food. I ask anyone at the table if they want a red and black for the $10 voucher, meaning that we gamble and one person wins $20 of free food and the other person gets zero. So it's basically a free roll for one of us. And the new player on my left, who seems like a nice talkative guy says, yeah, I'll gamble with you as well. So I say, what do you want, red or black? And he chooses red. So on the next flop, if it comes out all red, he wins the voucher. If it comes out mostly black, I win the voucher. Well, the flop comes out with two black cards, so I win the $10 voucher. I give him a little fist pump. I take the green card, and then he asks me, do you want to do double or nothing? $20 bill versus the $20 voucher. I say, yeah, sure, let's do it. I could win $40 here. So then I make a funny joke to him. I look over and I say, well, do you have $20 on you? I said this in a clearly joking, sarcastic manner with a grin, and he did not take it in a joking manner. It felt like he thought I was questioning his net worth, thinking that he didn't actually have a $20 bill on him. He said, no way, bets off. That's ridiculous. How could you ask me that question? I was going to be nice to you, but now I'm going to have to take all your chips. And I felt like that was kind of weird. I didn't really know what to say. But the very next hand, I get pocket queens. I raised a 2000 and now this guy who says he's going to take all my chips re-raises me to 7000 Given the fact that he could be trying to bluff me here, I just make the call with queens. And we see a good jack-high board. It's a rainbow flop. I check over to him. He bets 7000 I'm just going to flat call here with queens, allow him to keep bluffing if he is bluffing. He thinks he wants to take all my chips. Well, let's just try to let him bluff it off if he is. The turn card's a bad one, though. It's an ace. So now ace queen gets there, ace king's beating us, ace jack's beating us. I check over to him and he snap bets 12,000 chips. And now my brain is in the blender. Just about a minute before this, this guy got a little upset with me about my sarcastic joke, thinking I was questioning his net worth when I was clearly joking to him. I'm trying to think, is it possible he's trying to put me in my place here? Is he trying to bluff me? Is he trying to put me on tilt? This ace card is a great bluff card if he has a hand like king-queen or queen-ten or a smaller pocket pair. Maybe he just has a jack. I don't know if I can fold pocket queens the way I played this. So I decide to make the call for 12,000. Going here to the river in a big pot and it's the six of diamonds. I check over to him and he snap jams all in for the rest of my 15,000 chip stack and I just let out an audible sigh. Oh my god. I don't think he's bluffing here. I don't think he's going three streets with a bluff. With only 15,000 chips left, I fold and he shows me ace king for top pair and we just get completely schooled in this hand, losing around two thirds of our chip stack. Okay, just finishing up dinner break now. I got about a half an hour left. A very swingy couple levels there. We had the nut nut straight versus two pair lost to a full house. Spun it way up with pocket fives, quadruple up, and then got into a really weird spot there where I made a joke about the guy next to me having 20 bucks. He took it the wrong way. He kind of got upset. He's like, I'm gonna take all your chips now. The very next hand I get queens. He three bets me, he bets the flop. I call him the turn when the ace comes, which I think is a little bit punty. I fold the river, he's got ace king. Kind of got into my head a little bit. Um, not really happy with the way I played this one. I think I could have four bet preflop. I uh, think I just should have folded the turn. Uh, but the worst thing about this is I lost the other one of these. So I red and blacked for one of these and I won. So I got $20 free meals here at the Hard Rock and I lost the other one. So all that shit, all that crap and I lost it, I, whatever. But we're heading back now. I've got 12 big blinds after this break. We spun it up before. 
Let's do it again. Back from dinner break, level number seven, blinds at 500, 1,000. There's almost 1,000 entrants so far. Well, I have a measly 10 big blinds with pocket fives. I jam all in here in the cutoff. The player to my left, who says he wants to take all my chips, makes a very quick call. Other players fold. I show pocket fives. He shows ace four of clubs. We're in a great spot here to get a double up. If we win this pot, We'll have over 20 big blinds and be sitting in a good spot here in level number seven. Six. Oh, six. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's a straight on the board. Neither of us have a spade and we chop this one up. Pretty frustrating spot there. We lost with a straight. We lost with pocket queens. We lost when we were ahead there with pocket fives. We're now left with crumbs. I fold for a while, a couple orbits, and now I'm left with five and a half big blinds here on the button and finally look down at ace queen offsuit. There's a limp under the gun, a raise, and with five big blinds, ace queen, I am all in, and we could potentially get another quadruple up spot here. When the small blind calls my all in, the big blind calls my five big blind all in, and now the under the gun limper jams all in himself. The other players fold and we are heads up now. Another quadruple up is possible until he shows ace king of hearts. We are completely dominated here. We're gonna have to get lucky to stay alive. That's me right there. Spade, Jack. All right, good luck. See you guys. Well, I feel like I say this almost every single time I play a tournament, but this may be my last tournament for a while. It's just too damn frustrating for me. It's too annoying, too frustrating to sit there for hours and hours, finally pick up a hand and lose, get bad beat, bust out, and that's it. Uh, it's really tough. Poker tournaments are tough. I don't know how these tournament pros do it every single day. They go in and they keep losing and losing and losing. I mean, I guess there's this big allure for trying to win a huge event. I mean, there's a million dollars on top of this one, which is huge. Uh, but for me, I just want to stick to cash games. It's way more fun. Uh, tournaments are just very frustrating for me. I also am not very good at them, uh, clearly, according to my results. But as always, the staff at the Hard Rock, they run great tournaments. There was over 2,000 entrants in this tournament, a million dollars for first place. The staff's great, the players are great, uh, the poker dealers are great. It was a lot of fun. Just wish I could have ran a little bit better. But on other news, last night at the Hard Rock, they ran a $250 ladies event. And the winner for $5,000 was a man who identified as a man won the ladies event. We have Dave here and he, I don't know if you can tell here, he's the only guy in this ladies event. So I put a $300 bounty on his head. And then Tamra and her husband matched it. So there's a $600 bounty on his head. He's already busted twice, so we love him for that. Thank you, Dave. Good luck, not really. What's going on, guys? It's 2023, we got men winning the ladies event. Crazy times. Um, yeah, I'm out here with Rogue. We're just walking around. It's a beautiful day. It's Sunday. It's like 80 degrees, nice and sunny, a little breezy. Very nice day to be down here in Florida. I'm very excited though, because I'm going out to Los Angeles in two weeks. Going to be playing on Hustler Casino live stream 10, 20, 40 game. Going to be buying in super deep for that game, like $15,000, $20,000. That's going to be May 18th. And then during that week, I'll be playing at Hustler. I'll be playing at the bike, commerce, making videos. I'm excited for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please like comment down below make sure to subscribe to the channel rogue and i are going to keep walking and until next time i'll see you